Uh, hey guys, so um, in this video I'm going to show you how to loop Tarantula Slayer. Um, it can be infinitely, uh, sometimes it's not. Um, but you loop it over and over, uh, where you just kill the boss and it gives enough XP. Um, so you can loop it you know, really fast. So to do this, uh, you're going to need a Wither Impact weapon. Um, preferably a Hyperion, and you're going to want Storm Armor, uh, so you can get as much mana as possible. Um, and a Sheep Pet is recommended. You don't need it, but, um, it helps a lot. If, uh, you get good enough to timing it, you can probably use Wolf. I haven't gotten that good yet, um, because I'm, you know, just now figuring this out, and I just want to let you guys know that. Um... But yeah, so let's get into it. So you're going to want to start right here at the entrance of the cave. And you're going to go down. And you're going to want to go this way. So as soon as you get here, you're going to go left. So you go down this way. And it's going to you know, go like this. We can go left or right here. You're going to want to go right here. So you're going to go this way right here. And then you're going to go keep. You're going to keep going down here. And you're going to come to this, like, mound thing right here. There's, like, a ladder. Uh, but that's not what we're looking for. So, what you're going to do uh, when you're here is you're going to get enough kills. So you, you, know, you can come up here. There's generally a good amount of spires. And... Alright, so once it's spawned, what you're going to do is you're going to teleport right here on top of this cobweb. And you're going to get it down to about, you know, 300k health. As long as it's under 500k, that's probably good. And you're going to want to keep teleporting to stay up here. And once it says regenerating, so it does now, you're going to kill it. And it's going to say boss slain, but it's actually not going to die. It's going to keep regenerating health. So you're going to press it, you're going to kill it again. And since the regenerating one died, you're going to sit here and wait until the new one says regenerating. Um, so, we'll wait for that, and there it is. It uh, died, so we'll kill it again. For a little bit. And then we go one, two, three, four. It dies, you kill the regenerating one again. You go one, two, three, four. It dies, and you're gonna kill the regenerating one. And then you just loop this process pretty much, and you get a bunch of XP, and you're able to, you know, loop it, and, uh, you know, level up your RNG meter, get a bunch of combat XP. So it just died right there. Um, so when that happens, you just, you know, go and kill it again. Just spawn it again. So, like, right there. And you're gonna go back up here, you know, kill it, get, to, get it down low, wait for it to say regenerating. And uh, once it says that, you kill it. And you go one, two, three, and new one spawns along with the old one. You kill it. You, you know, kill this. You get XP, and you can just do this over and over. And um, you usually will have to, you know hop out and go uh, like kill another or a bunch of other spiders to spawn it um, but it only takes a second to do if you have a Hyperion it's like you can wait right here and also um, you sometimes pick up drops but not always so you're gonna want to drop down and pick them up um, every so often and this you know you can get some good stuff like that um, you get toxic arrow poison a lot but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how to do this. Um, it's really cool, and you can get you know a ton of the combat XP. So, thanks, and uh, thanks for watching, and 